What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, yesterday was St. Patrick's Day and we had posted a picture of our TH9C here. Uh, OD green frame. Figured it was quite suiting for St. Patrick's Day. But I got a couple questions about it and people asking if I had done any videos or anything. And I had not. So today what we're going to do is a quick disassembly of our pistol here. I've already dropped the magazine. Uh, verified that the pistol is in fact clear and what we're going to do is do a quick disassembly field strip and assemble it back together uh, we'll start off by taking our takedown lever similar to a glock style pistol and we'll pull our takedown lever and pull back on the slide just a little bit release the slide release our takedown lever and pull our two halves apart now i got this pistol for a, it is a gift uh, they had picked it up on Black Friday uh, from Academy. It came with the TH9C and a 22 rifle. Really good deal. Pretty, uh, pretty good price. So now that we got the pistol apart, you can see it's it's a little, little. Oh, it's actually pretty clean. I did good last time I cleaned it. It's not a terrible shooter. Uh, it is a little. Uh, inaccurate but for the price it's a great entry-level pistol so we'll reach down here on our recoil spring take that out pull our barrel out you can see there's a little bit of wear on it all right checking see how everything's looking like on the inside you see i still got some of that factory purple purple lube in this thing overall not a bad pistol we'll start by putting our barrel back in here and this is like I said it's gonna be a quick disassembly reassembly type video we've got our guide rod and recoil spring back in now what uh what I was not familiar with with Taurus is uh, this is my first one my brother had always owned one, but I guess I was a, a little hesitant to get a Taurus. McGar Mags, made in Italy. Neat. So I was always hesitant to get a Taurus just because they didn't have a very high reputation. So I got it as a gift, and here it is. I mean, not a bad pistol. We'll go ahead and slide it back together. Now, here is what I was not aware of. There's a little dingus here a little metal dingus and the first time I went to go put it back together I could not get it to slide on I was like what's going on well that little metal dingus just has to be pushed down that's it push that down rack slide slides back on the pistol test fire good function check good now I'm gonna show you the trigger pull real quick you can hear it's a a little gritty but here's where I was not the happiest with the pistol watch now I'm gonna rack it and let's see where that reset is at all right not bad not bad now let's see if I can replicate what I was having going on at the range the first time I took this pistol shooting I would release and for some reason, right there, it gave me a false reset. Probably, probably one out of every 10 or 15 rounds or so. But I was probably not releasing the trigger enough, but it would give me an audible click and I'd go to pull the trigger and nothing. Hmm. Well, there it was. So, is that a big problem? Eh, probably not. But it is something to be aware of when you're buying a $250, $300 pistol. Well, 
But alright guys, hope y'all liked the video and y'all have a good one.